Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we're going to be covering the semifinals of the qualifiers for Poland, which are the World Cup qualifiers technically. Um, I don't know how to properly describe it, but pretty much every month for the next, there's six more after this was the second one and we came third slash fourth in the last one, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> there's six more and you get points from each one and if you have enough points so how it would work for na is whoever has the most points one team will advance to the world cup next year um so we were in third and fourth tied uh going into this one so we were definitely looking to get the first place and then qualify for poland where you have a chance to play against other teams from around the world and also get more points for your world cup run so we're going to be going over the semifinals. Um, usually, I'd cover this on the joint channel. I, if you guys want to see the last qualifiers, it's on the joint channel as well. But uh, Bobby wanted to do one on his video and then one on the joint channel. Like, no, bro. Like, you can't, like, be involved in both of them. So, we decided to split it up. Um, I sat a game because there's four of us, right? So, we rotate. So, I sat a game in the finals. So, I let Bobby um, get the finals. And then I didn't sit in the semis. So, we're going to be going over the semis. And... Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So first off, we're playing against IX Gaming. They actually knocked us out last time. Super, super close series, um, but they did come out on top last time. So the bans for the entire match, not per set, for the entire match are Sandy. Uh, we banned Sandy. Just I can't stand Sandy. <laughs> he screwed me out of like two qualifiers already, I feel like. Um, so we banned Sandy, and then they banned Mr. P, which... We kind of like Mr. P is broken. Every team like banned him pretty much. So, um, and you can see our comps are a little different. We have a Rosa, which is just going to be constant pressure on the right side, but Second's doing a really good job on dealing with it so far. And we both have pennies um, and bees. So, the only difference for them is they have a gene mid, but Crying's doing a really good job just getting that mid control. And Bobby, like, it looks like he's doing really bad, but um, obviously. He could be doing a bit better, but it's Rosa, like, you just kind of jump in. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's going to be doing a lot of that, and he actually does pop second shield that time, which is really good. So, I get my Penny turret out first, which is really important. Um, I do have the better side, though, for Penny. So, um, Squash is doing really well just holding me back. But I do get my Penny turret out, and now... Alec definitely overextends there, and he does go down with four gems. So Squashy knows he can't get those two gems. So I'm going to pinch over on second a little bit. And at this point, like, Bobby's been just kind of YOLOing this entire time. And every time he jumps in, second has to back up. And it just, it allows me to go grab that last gem. So even though, like, he probably died, like, six times, like, he did, he didn't do bad. He, like, did his job. So that's kind of what Rosa does on this map and why we chose her, just because she's like a meat shield. So um, me and Crying held down that right, or sorry, the left and the center really well that game, and I got an early penny turret out, and uh, we are able to get the dub in the first game. All right, guys, so game number two, every game, or sorry, every map is a best of three. So if we win this one, we take the first set. So Bobby chooses not to go on the launch right this time, which I think is a really good decision. So second has no idea where he is right now. And now you can see him, obviously, but he's just he wasn't happy with how the first thing went. And they did switch to Rosa. So you can just see me and crying are doing a really good job kiting the Rosa and just keeping our distance and um throughout this whole match we do a really good job and that's why i don't think they should have put the rose on my side they should have mirror matched it or something because i already have my penny turret and just like look at the pressure we have like bobby's doing a really good job on the right side and then we just collapse on their gene and me and crying we just have so much control at this point so i'm one shot from penny turret i'm just gonna get that and get like a really aggro turret placed up and hopefully keep them spawn trapped and alex gonna jump in but just me and crying like we played this game so well i feel like even bobby too i think as a team, this was definitely our best game that we played yet. Um, we just synergized and communicated really well. So I was like really, really happy because I think we are, this is going to be biased, but I think we're the best team in NA and it's just like our synergy and stuff that we need to work on. And this game, it just felt like, it felt really good. Uh, we've been like practicing a lot. So I was really happy with how it went. <laughs> just this entire game, we've pretty much dominated the mid and the left side and even the right side too, like Bobby short range. So he's just holding it down for us. But uh, he's going to enable us to just, he's going to put on so much pressure that we can just like literally like stand back and get the gems. So he played really, really good this game. And, you know, so did Crying, so did I. I think I got hit once by like a little gene shot this entire game. So uh, we just did really well in the first set and we're going to take it one nothing. 
All right, guys, so set number two is Layer Cake. Now, this is actually the map that they knocked us out on last time. Feels bad. Um, so we're definitely looking for some redemption here. Um, unfortunately, it is banned per the match. So Sandy's a useless ban here, but Sandy, like, would have been played on the rest of the maps. So we just chose to go with Sandy and deal with Tick. Like, we hate playing Tick here because you can just see it's so spammy. Um, also, we chose to go Brock and they went to B. Just because we want to get that wall break on uh, the mid, just if we can, because this map's really hard to track people. So uh, we were communicating really well though, and we kind of had a good idea. So you'll see me like Squashy's kind of just focusing more on lane while I'm focusing a little more on mid at first. Um, what we were trying to do throughout like the whole set is just I hit like the Piper once, and then Crying hits him, and that's like pretty much a kill if it's at like full range. So we were going for like cheeky plays like that. Well, Squashy kind of like gets priority on the lane um but they did manage to get middle star and they have us pushed back pretty good right now so bobby is just kind of like trying to chip down alec and get a super i think he does get a super pretty soon though so he's got to be careful right now and i'm getting poked down too but it doesn't matter too much so ideally crying hits that tick head and i save mine and then i can like push my lane back but um <laughs> he missed a shot on the tick head which it, it, it's fine um i did have to use my tick head and it kind of like gave up a lot of pressure that i could have had but um it's not the end of the world because you can get them back pretty fast so we don't know where the b is and we know it's super shot so i'm just checking the bushes same with a second but um at this point you can see bobby does get his super so we can put a lot more pressure on them now because that can go through walls i get squashy one shot here and he's not gonna like fully regen but we both have that healing star power on, so he doesn't want me to get too much position. Nice shot from Crying. It's going to, like, apply a lot of pressure there. Um, Crying's one shot. He almost gets hit by a tick mine, too. Bobby's is super. At this point, I'm like, yo, I got Squashy. Just back off, guys. Four seconds left. Alec does have super shot, but he gets taken down too low to follow up. And, you know, <laughs> really, really close game. Uh, pretty spammy. I'm not a fan of tick at all here, but I think I played it pretty decent that game. And throughout the entire set, um, so we are able to get the first one. Alright guys, game number two in Bounty, and you can see there's not too much variety, honestly, either teams could play. I guess maybe if you want to get like risky, you could like pick a Daryl or a Carl or something, but these comps are just really good for control, and again, Alec knows he's going to get spammed down lane because Bobby has Incendiary on, so he's just like, we kind of figured he'd be waiting in mid, um, just because Bobby has zero vision of him right now, and now I think Bobby just saw him on the screen a little bit, so he kind of knows where he is, but um, we don't want to give up that mid star as well. So, fortunately, second's going to get there. Um, we did give up a little too much positioning, and I'm almost kind of caught out there. I think if... Mm, I don't know. It could have been risky, but maybe second could have tried following up. But Bobby is going to do a really good job and get a super and Alex shield down already. So, that's going to make his lane so much easier. Uh, B shield is literally a get out of jail free card. And that's why we chose Brock, because it just gives us so much more vision. Um, you know, you never know what's happening in the middle part of this map. And... We did have to kind of, I oh, I, on the other end of things, I did get clipped by two uh, tick mines. So that was probably my biggest mistake of the entire match uh, right there because it's bounty and every kill matters so much. So um, I just didn't anticipate because you don't want to give up too much position. We already lost position by like, we ch we focused on mid at first and they focus like on lanes more. But um, right here, I'm switching sides just because I want to get one hit. I'm literally like one hit away from a tick head this entire time. And when I get that tick head, it like... If I time it properly, it can pretty much solo kill Squashy. Um, so I'm like just fishing for it, but I'm not getting it. So uh, 30 seconds left. We decided to just like go back. Nice shot from Crying though. And at this point, we know like 24 seconds. So I kind of just tank a few of these tick shots, I think, and just go for it. Um, I try to get some positioning and I think I finally get my tick head here off second off Squashy. There it is. So it was literally like 35 seconds like waiting for that. So I'm just going to toss it out, get some pressure and... Second's going to take it out, so, um, but Bobby did take down Alex, so I do get a kill. Um, unfortunately, it's only two stars, though, and we needed to kill Squashy or two of them, and we are going to lose. So, that one, my death was completely preventable, so I'll take uh, the blame for that one, I guess. I did, like, get a kill at the end, but Bobby did, like, most of the work on the kill. I was just there to finish it off, but um, just, like, a small misplay, um, and it's, with Tick, it's so spammy, like, it's frustrating because you can't do too too much especially if you don't have like a lot of like mid control or like vision but um we're looking to get them back in the next game all right guys game number three <clears throat> no surprise here we got the same comps i know very exciting but um 
this time I'm gonna focus like a little more on my lane because last game I got I focused too much on mid so I got shoved out and we really don't want to give up the middle stars so they've been playing pretty passive at first though so we just got to make sure crying doesn't get hit and then he can go for a shot here too he does catch second out so that's gonna enable us to get the first star so obviously you want to like pinch your lanes and that's what second was trying to do but he did get caught out so crying was kind of waiting for him um right there crying probably could have got squashy just seeing that again but he's gonna get two taps from second and i see that he hit him so i try following it up um but that's gonna give squashy some positioning on my side as well but he does get crying or he, crying does tap second and i'm there to finish him off so that's like the play that we've been looking for like pretty much this entire time um and it finally pans out because it's a really good combo and you can see bobby and crying just getting second again he got way too aggro there and he already has two deaths this game so he needs to be like a little more careful but we do have the lead which is nice at this point in the game and we're in a really bad spot though just position wise on the map we're already getting like forced back like our mid's gone crying had to jump there um and <laughs> i do get my tick head but it goes for <sighs> that's so unlucky it goes for second instead of squashy because then i could have pushed my lane out a little bit and like even focused on second a bit but um we just gotta like hold it down for 30 seconds at this point pretty much and you know i think bobby gets a little too aggro. yeah bobby gets too aggro and second pay, uh, makes him pay for it so it's tied right now and they have complete position so they're definitely like you want to go for the tie sometimes but they have position so i completely understand why they're being so aggro um and at this point like i don't want squashy to get too much position but i also want to get a kill here because they're like overextending a bit so i just decide yo let's let's focus on second and me and crying go for that cheeky little play again and <laughs> he taps him so second threw that pretty hard <laughs> but he does tap him and then my tick mine finishes him off uh second really wanted the win there and you know it's gonna cost him the set so he played pretty good uh he did get all their kills in bounty i think besides one that squashy got um but, you know, he does get too ambitious there towards the end, and we'll take him out. Alright guys, so it is 2-0 in sets right now. It's a best of 5, so if we do take the Brawl Ball one, then we will win the semifinals and move on to the finals, uh, where we would play, I think, auto-aim. Uh, I forget their name. It's Red Button or something with auto-aim. Uh, <laughs> you can see our comps are pretty similar. Similar. Um, Actually, no, they're not this game. <laughs> we have a Max, they have a Daryl, uh, we have Tara's. I guess Tara's so good here. So I noticed that Alec is weak, so I decided, like, I know he wants to regen. Um, so I'll just push up my lane and take him out, and that's going to enable us to score, because Squashy's going to pinch over, and then Crying will take out second on the B. So we're off to a really good start, and I'm also, like, a lot closer to my super than Alec is. So I'm one card off, um, and I'm just going to push up here, I think, or no. We're gonna wait we see um jack has his pull and he gets a really good pull on alec there and then squashy is just gonna get caught out so i'll just super him and you know that's gonna be game one there's nothing they can do at this point so we played that really really well i think as a team and um we just kind of ran through them on game one all right guys so this time game number two if they lose this they are knocked out of the qualifiers and they'll finish third slash fourth which is what they made us finish last time so uh they decided to go with carl instead of tara so i wanted to sneak up the right side and just kind of get my super and apply a lot of pressure so if i don't do that little show right there i would have been in such a good position but i do like show a bit and on the other end of thing jack does get pulled and the whole left side just kind of collapses so i gotta like pinch over but there's nothing i can do at this point um so kind of unfortunate and they're off to a really good start and the carl does have super crying has super but i mean it's not it's good it's not like a huge game changer and when you're playing like defense though so he'll pop his super and um you know we just got to defend at this point so i see second has pull so i try baiting it out and i dodge it i catch the ball um and i try like stalling but you know my teammates got taken out so there's nothing like really i could do there besides just stall for that long and they're gonna like just destroy us game number two so pretty much what we did to them game number one they got us right back <laughs> all right guys game number three so if we win this we win the entire match if they win this they win the set and it will be two to one and we would go to gem grab i believe no not gem grab we'd go to siege so um we're sticking instead of max this time we went daryl just because against the comp that they used last game we figured uh daryl would be better so crying is actually gonna get a super really fast here and 
he gets a really oh wait maybe this is <laughs> okay so i'll sneak up on alec just trying to get my super up but crying gets such a good roll here and he'll take them out and just such a good roll by crying like really heads up play um he's gotten really good on daryl lately and i'm getting close to my super two at this point so Jack has a super and so does crying so I'm just gonna like try pinching over squashy kind of rushes that I guess and I think Jack blind pulls here I'm pretty sure he oh, okay no maybe okay so second's gonna take out Jack actually and me and crying are just left alive so I don't know <laughs> he panicked that pull very hard maybe his finger slipped or something but um definitely <laughs> you don't want to make that pull but I'm just gonna solo suck him because it's so good here and I get that healing thing out for crying and they got to focus on it nice pull from Jack there and you know at this point it's just we don't want to rush it but you know we're looking pretty good <laughs> so i'll just solo suck and crying is going to be there to finish it off and we will eliminate ix and move on to the finals all right guys that is going to be it for today's video um if you do want to watch the finals bobby uh <laughs> is going to have it on his channel so we agreed that i'd cover the semis and he would cover the finals so definitely go check out bobby's channel i'm not sure when he'll upload it i'm assuming like the same day that i do so it'll probably be out um like today so definitely go check that out if you want to watch the finals uh but i think the semi-finals in my opinion were definitely the most well i don't want to spoil it <laughs> but the semi-finals we definitely prepared for the most like i think ix is definitely our best competition in na but anyways that is going to be it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you all tomorrow peace